Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sarah Moore here and I have the pleasure of speaking with Anne McKay today. Anne is a health educator and wellness coach and she works at the Southwest Women's Health Centre and she also uh, coordinates the Radiance Network, which is a, a beautiful group of practitioners who are committed to supporting women and their families through the perinatal period with their emotional uh, well-being. So thanks Anne for joining me today. No worries. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So, Anne, we're going to talk a little bit about your involvement with the Southwest Wellness Festival um, today. Uh, and uh, I thought I could just um, start off by asking you to tell us about yourself and why you've become involved with the Southwest Wellness Festival. Um, well, the reason I got involved in the Wellness Festival is because I have been to the Wellness Festival a couple of times because um, I'm so interested in health and wellness in every way, especially in dealing with women in my role at the centre. Um, and it's just always had a beautiful feeling and community support and network with all the amazing practitioners that we have in Southwest. Like, it's always blown me away and I also love how you get to meet the practitioners and it's really good in my role because I get to see who's doing what and exactly experience what everyone's offering. So then when I see all the clientele that I see in my role, um, I can sort of know what's on offer, which is really, really good to experience what you're going to recommend as well. So, and also to meet and network with everyone so they get to know what we do at the Women's Health Centre as well. So yeah, it's great. Wonderful, thank you. And um, and can you just tell us a little bit about how families can learn about the Radiance Network on Festival Day this year? Yeah, no worries. So this year, um, I'm gonna wear two hats at the festival, um, basically promoting Southwest Women's Health, but also um, we're promoting the project Radiance uh, that we've been working on. Um, and launched last year in November in Muscleton. So it was a pilot project, but basically Radiance is a community network. And it's sort of like um, a network connecting, connecting parents in our local community to all the supports and uh, practitioners that are available in our area. Because sometimes when we're in that state of overwhelm being a parent, we're tired and we're just not feeling right. We just don't have the energy or we don't know where to start. So basically there was nothing really um, much in the southwest so we got given a grant um, from WAPHM to start something for perinatal anxiety and depression so that's when the Radiance Network was formed with all these amazing um, women and practitioners and community members that have been impacted by perinatal anxiety and depression and obviously it's been an amazing ride and I'm really been blessed to be managing that project and it's just beautiful so if you haven't done already, please go and have a look at Radiance Southwest um, webpage. Mm -hmm. We also have a Facebook page, so go and see what's on offer and just see who is available in our community. So on the day, I'll be telling everyone about it, um, giving some brochures out, um, hopefully getting, I'm going to get some um, resources like giveaways, and that kind of thing. Um, but just engaging with women and, and having a chat to see what they really need our community so just making sure that we're on the right page and connecting them all to the things that um, is out there because there's so much um, but we it's all you know I guess the Radiance Network is just putting it all in one basket Thank and that, you. making that navigation in that time so much easier yeah wonderful thanks Anne that's brilliant so yes there um, will be a stall there so people can come and meet you personally and, and have a talk to you which I think is just so valuable. Um, and, and do you want to share your top tips for wellness um, or staying well in pregnancy in the postpartum period? Yeah, for sure. Um, so basically in pregnancy, I think pregnancy is such a personal journey for us all. I mean, um, I'm a mum, I've got four kids and for every single child, you know, pregnancy was different in every single instance and I think honouring that journey for yourself um, and whatever that is for you is really important um, and I think one of the most things I tell people when they're pregnant is you know just enjoy the journey for what it is and what it, if you're needing help there's so much help out there you know emotionally um, you know 
or with your diet, anything, there's so much help out there, so don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, and also, don't put so much pressure on yourself. You know, there's so much pressure to be, you know, this amazing, you know, pregnant person almost. Like, um, just enjoy the ride and, and, you know, try and manage your stress and take time out for you. And yeah, just, and if you're not feeling right or something's coming up for you, then, you know, don't be afraid to talk to someone that you trust about, you know, whatever it is. Um, you know, finding a practitioner that, you know, Know, isn't judgmental and you can really talk about how you're feeling I think it's really important so when you're pregnant you know that's however you're feeling um, you know the whole, whole mind body connection is going to connect with that little being you know growing inside of you so really really important to you know have that list of post wellness during that time um, and then postpartum you know number one you know uh, it's always different once again you know, that first few weeks of adjustment to parenting, especially with your first baby, you just like, whoa, well, you know, what are we doing? You know, we don't really know, even though we think we're really prepared. Um, I just think it's really important to take care of yourself. Um, you know, you've got this little being and you throw yourself into this little being looking after, you know, that child, but it's really utmost important to take care of yourself, whatever that looks like for you. So just taking five minutes out of your day, scheduling some bed time is so important, um, whatever that is that makes you feel good. Um, eating well and trying to, you know, all those things that we know. But I also think um, doing what's right for you and really listening and trusting your instinct and your intuition, and because that's usually right. Um, so really learning to know what your inner rhythm is as, as a mother. Um, and also emotionally, you know, once again, you know, if something's coming up, then make sure you talk to someone that you trust. And I think it's, that's why it's important in that pregnancy time to build up that network and support before the baby comes. So you sort of almost have your little emergency first aid kit. Um, so you've got it all out there. You know who to connect with um, and it's easy. So, yeah, and then socially. You know, getting out there and connect, connecting with nature, connecting with others. Because sometimes you've been working, you know, you've worked full time and then all of a sudden you're home with a baby, your husband's away, or, you know, a lot of people live in the southwest and they don't have family. That's what I see a lot. Um, so, you know, finding those connections that, you know, you can connect with because there is so much down here once again. So finding whatever feels right for you. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Anne. It's wonderful. And yeah, we are so very blessed to have you as um, part of our support network here in, in the Southwest. So for me personally, thank you for all the work that you're doing, because I really do think it's incredibly valuable. And I have lots of um, women who I see in my practice that speak very, very highly of you. So um, I do encourage um, people to come along and meet you at the Southwest Wellness Festival, which to remind everyone, it will be on Sunday, the 28th of October. Um, we start at 8.30 in the morning, finish by two, and um, it'll be on Queen Street um, in the Bustleton Cultural Precinct. So we look forward to seeing you all there. And thanks again, Anne, for speaking with me today. No worries, thank you. Okay, Bye. look forward to seeing you all. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.